fire beam. That sounds awfully dangerous. I mean, I am trying to be the beacon of peace as the Federation, but I guess we can use it to silence the stronger rebels. Okay, wow. That's a lot of fun. I'm sure people won't mind if I use it a bit more liberally. Surrender? But I haven't finished burning your ship to a crisp yet. No, no surrender. Die. <sighs> FTL, because committing war crimes never felt so good. It's time for us to go to war. Look at all of this stuff. We have rockets to break through shields most of the time. At least we have this badass looking shooter gun, which is actually pretty useful. I especially like the subtle euphemism of having a few pew pews actually result in the death and suffering of hundreds of other people. SHIELDS! Which for some reason perfectly absorb highly concentrated severely ionizing and, well, fucking terrifying rays, but cannot physically stop the entry of a metal cylinder. Let's just start this thing. It's good to see that the Federation didn't even give us enough power to run our ship to the fullest. Well, you're all losing your healthcare privileges for the sake of more guns. Let's see, okay. Now, what would you do if you were trapped in a spaceship with Jimmy Carr, Brandy, and some rando you've never heard of before, with the enemy's fleet on hot pursuit? Well, obviously you attack them, because it's the moral choice in this situation. We are the goody good guys after all. And so, they fall, we pick up the scraps, take the praise, and make off. You are considerably more alarmed than we thought. We surrender. Well, we can't be noble all of the time. Just one mildly egregious thing and then you find the remains of the ship. You manage to discern the ship's intended destination. So do I honor the fallen crew by completing their mission? Or do I make off with what they had? Hmm. Oh crap! I ended up in the middle of the Federation's fleet! For some reason, even though I can count at least 9 rebel ships in the background, only one decides to engage. What is that ASB warning? Ah, uh, I see. Well, what kind of unga bunga technology must I have which is capable of stopping the almighty force of 2 shields and 20 of it? Well, balls. Okay, I'll just go fix this. I said before a fire went off, and then another fire, several fires! It's a shame really, that while technology has taken leaps and bounds in this universe, dealing with humanity's most ancient discovery has massively fallen. Well that's ironic. I mean, look at this, those fire extinguishers are doing nothing! Another bloody fire! Are those even fire extinguishers, or did we accidentally bring the tube that said smoke machine with us instead? Well. Jimmy Carr died of... nothing really. Those flames were nowhere near him. And with that, this crew was doomed. Yeah, I'm already dead, you cunts. Let's give that another go. Holy crap! I'm kicking ass! I came up with a new strategy. Shoot their shields, laser them to oblivion, and then watch them burn in the embers! Surrender? No. Burn! Alarmingly, it works more than it probably, morally, or psychologically should have. Yes! The flagship! The Federation may find a victory after all! I'll just hack their shields, kill their gunners, and yes! Yes, I did it! I saved space! Uh, 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 what? What? Wait! No! Don't tell me! Son of a bitch. Okay, one more try. I unlocked a new ship and, oh my god, this is going incredibly well. Having four guns allows me to really pinpoint parts of the enemy's ship to attack. With such an advantage, there's absolutely no way that... <sighs> Once a rebel, always a rebel.